Standish said the demons are looking for something at GCT. But what could they possibly need here? Should probably call Peter and let him know what I'm doing. Actually, scratch that. He'd probably just tell me to go home and chain myself to my laptop. I'll just check things out quick and let him know what I find. I like that she's actually saying these things out loud and not just, like, thinking them to herself. So we're at GCT. This is a uh, Grand Central Terminal, right? Look at all those Oscorp displays. Hmm. Looks like an Oscorp Tech Expo. I've never actually been to this place, so I don't know how faithfully they've recreated it here, but this is cool. A real New York landmark. If Lee is targeting Osborne, maybe they're looking to steal some of his tech. But what would they take, and why? I can't help but notice we've got all these terminals set up very conveniently, which will probably come in handy for, uh... I should check out those Oscorp displays. For cover. Check out those Oscorp displays. During a stealth sequence. I heard Spider-Man's got some kind of like danger sense. So why didn't he know? From paper cuts to gunshot wounds, yeah. Oscorp's patented nanotechnology can increase the body's healing rate by one thousand times. We're not just saving you money; we're saving lives. So my attention was kind of pulled in two directions there. <laughs> I was listening to this conversation as people were having about my spider sense. And yeah, like, fair enough, why doesn't he see attacks like that coming? But at the same time, he's not God. Even if he sees a terrorist attack coming, doesn't mean he could just snap his fingers and prevent it. Jesus Christ. Oscorp's research and development team are hard at work on a radical new form of battery that recharges itself from sound waves in a few short months. Will be able to buy a phone that will never have to be plugged in. Hmm. That actually sounds really cool. Cool. Yeah, I'd be down for that. <laughs> are these all the same? Oscorp's research and development team. Yeah. Are hard at work on a radical form of battery that recharges Oscorp's revolutionary medical evacuation drone, or MED, offers immediate emergency assistance, even in the most hostile hmm. areas of the world. Cool. <laughs> Did you guys catch on to that right there? A medical assistance drone that looks like a glider and can and can just soar over everything. Uh, yeah. No, uh, no bad predictions coming out of that one. Encrypt your data with Oscorp Cerberus Cipher, the world's only mathematically proven unbreakable encryption algorithm. Yeah, I don't think anything is actually unbreakable. Given enough time and resources, you can talk a big game, but, uh... Yeah. Alright, so the other sides are the same thing as well. From paper cuts to gunshot wounds, Oscorp's patented nanotechnology can increase the body's healing rate by 1,000 times. Right, that's the same thing we saw. Just saving you money. Oscorp's real saving lives. With focus strengthens your body's own nervous system, allowing you to stay awake and active for over 72 hours without any side effects. At Oscorp, we are giving you the greatest gift of all, time. If that nice. actually worked without any side effects for real, that would be amazing. I would sign up for that, like, immediately. Because, man, I'm telling you guys, the older you get, the more you realize time really is the most valuable resource. You start thinking about, like, you know, how many years you have left, and then how many months you have left, and how many days you have left. Uh, I guess everybody's going to hit that at some point. It's probably going to happen for different people at different times of their life. But I think about that all the time. I'm like... What's the best, like, level of quality I can attain for my life? How do I divide my time up so that I don't waste? So that, like, there's as little waste as possible. And, man, it's it's difficult. And it, it's a bad thing to even get involved in because you're wasting time by trying to not waste time. It's like, just go live your life, man. But once you reach a certain age, you, you really do think about that. You're like, oh, man. It's, uh, <laughs> if I want to accomplish the things I want to accomplish in life, I really need to focus in and uh, <laughs> and like make the use make the most of my time and it's 
It's fucked up, man. Encrypt your data with Oscorp Cerberus Cipher, the world's only mathematically proven all right, all right. encryption algorithm. This Gaia microbe dispersal device releases specially formulated microbes into the atmosphere and in turn leaves our oceans and rivers cleaner than when man first walked the earth. Oh boy. Mr. Lee. This will be easier for everyone. If you remain calm, and do as I say. Police! Over here! <laughs> no! Dig! Wait, is... Is that the actual thing? That's the devil's breath? Why was it on display right there? Gosh, if only we'd called Peter. But we didn't, because he just would have been an asshole about it. Mm -hmm. Mayor Osborne's office. I would like to speak to Mayor Osborne. Who's calling? The man he is looking for. What do you want? I want you at Grand Central Terminal in 30 minutes. By yourself. Or there'll be more blood on your hands. So does he have super strength all the time? Because he just crushed that phone by himself. Party at GCT, wear your best suit. Clever. And now okay. we're... I'm on my way. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Just hurry. Going as fast as I can. What are you doing at GCT? I'll explain later. Listen, Lee's going to release the Devil's Breath. You gotta get out of there. He's not gonna do it until Norman Osborne gets here. Wait. This must have been Lee's plan all along. Make Norman responsible by forcing him to release the Devil's Breath himself. Sort of makes sense, in a twisted, psychotic way. Okay, I'm here. Coming into the terminal now. Anything I should be on the lookout for? Don't panic. This will be him. Looks like he's got some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. Don't worry. I'm in the ventilation system. Can you see a safe exit point? Please. Don't hurt us. Um. That? Southwest corner. On my way. We have landed ourselves right in the middle of a hostage situation, guys. And, um... If I get any closer, the drones will spot me. See that tablet I'm looking at? That controls the drones. Think you can snag it? Yes. If you can distract them. And not get shot. I'm ready. Tell me when. Uh... I guess now. Okay. I'm ready. Incoming. Okay, can I... Okay, move. This is gonna go great. They're not gonna take me without a fight. Dude, no. Wait! MJ, what are you doing? Let's all just relax. Listen, I'm a reporter. I have a direct line to Mayor Osborne. I can help make sure he arrives on time. How? First, let him go. Okay, she did help that guy. But now we're fucked. But we know something you don't know. Spider-Man's here. They're coming. Jump over the railing. 
the railing. Okay. So, oh, uh, no. I was gonna say, can we see Spider-Man? Like, what's going on here? Can't let him see me. Okay, so we just gotta get up here and avoid detection. That was easy. What's my end game here? Where am I going? I feel like I should be playing as Spider-Man right now. Uh oh. Drones, get to cover. You still got that tablet? Yeah. Better work fast. Okay, I got this. Come on, come on. Almost there. They did it. Good job. Now let's get you out of here. What about the Devil's Breath? I'll come back for it. No, we're partners. Remember? Can we argue later? If we don't help those people, they could die. So could you. I can't let that happen. No. No, I got myself into this. I'm getting myself out. What do you mean you got yourself into this? Yeah, Mary Jane's right about this one. I don't like this. There's too many of them. Then let's start taking them out. Quietly. Okay. Eh... Where do I want to send this guy, though? They're still too close. can still see each other. That oh. Dude, grab him. <laughs> Did you guys notice how he, like, quote-unquote died before? Take him. Like, as soon as they drop their gun, they're just like, oh, uh, I give up. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is an interesting take on the whole stealth situation. So I'm going to tell Spider-Man when to take people out. No, Spider-Man is, uh, he's not right about that, though. Like, if Devil's Breath is as bad as they're making it out to be, no one person's life can be more important than stopping that, even if it's Mary Jane. Spidey, you know that. Break up that group. I'm gonna try and separate them. Okay. Let's bring this guy back behind the TV. Take him out. Ooh. That was actually pretty close. With that other guy coming up. Now. So this is actually interesting. I actually like this a lot. Oh, and I can see Spider-Man up there. Well, I could. Now he's gone. <laughs> uh, he just he just pops into existence. Ooh. Do it. And then fades back out once his dark work is done. <laughs> okay. I like that. Uh, now. It seems like you really can't mess this up. Like, they wouldn't give you the opportunity to ask Spider-Man to take him out if they'd be spotted, so... The second I see that button, I'm just jamming on it, you know? MJ, did you know Lee would be here? Not exactly. What do you mean? I thought something might happen, but not like this. Why didn't you tell me? I thought we were partners. Hey, partners trust each other, Peter. What do you mean? I trust you? Yeah, when I'm sitting at home behind a laptop. Oh, come on. Can we please get back to saving the city here? MJ, you don't have superpowers, okay? It doesn't mean that you're, like, helpless, or that I think you suck or anything, but you shouldn't be putting yourself in all this danger. Oh, okay. Do it. Whatever. As long as it worked eventually. <laughs> Alright, buddy, you're next. Ooh, there's a lot of dudes there, though. Okay. How about you go check that out? Not close enough. Come on, keep it coming. Take him. What? Somebody, like, almost saw me there. That was weird. Okay. We thinned out that side. Let's wrap back around this way. wonder if I can get that guy far enough back from here. No. 
No, not quite. Shit. Oh, I keep missing it by a, by an inch. Ugh. Okay. How about you go back there? I still think this is stupid from a story perspective, by the way, but it is interesting from a gameplay perspective. Like, Spider-Man doesn't need my help to take these guys out, but I'll do it anyway. Take him out. I webbed his face first, you see that? <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so who's seeing this guy now? Take him out. There we go. Nigga Jesus, I nolly. Gotta get past him. I'm ready. Nice. Oh boy, two minutes. Keep him busy. I'll take care of the devil's breath. You know what you're doing? No. That's never stopped me before. Oh, okay. Looks like the blue is connected to the battery. And yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay. You'll want to detach the wires from the battery first. Trace the wires to the other end and unplug them from there. Okay. Unplug the wires from the battery. Okay. Pull the first wire. Now the second one. Uh, Jesus. Okay, okay. So it should be... Fuck, I keep losing it. The other battery wire. Okay, I think it's the one on top here. What? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. Ah, it's a collapsing circuit. What comes next? The fan? Yes, then the last wire. But you have to hurry. Okay. Okay, now the red one. Okay. Ah! Got it. You did it. Wow. Yeah. Now let's get these people out of here. I could use a little Spidey help. You ready? I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Right. I'll clear a path. Try to do it quietly. Will do. Oh, thank Christ. Okay. Back in the biz as the Spider-Man. Start with you. We're gonna stick to the high ground as much as humanly possible here, guys. Careful, or the hostages will get hurt. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I love the range on that now. That is so good. Oh, the drones are still flying around. I guess they're disarmed, though, so hopefully they stay that way. Why is Lee so hellbent on terrorizing New York? That seemed very close. I can't do this guy because there's already a guy webbed up here. That'll do. Remember that smack to the face, too. Let me up. Ugh. This never would have taken hostages like this. He was right. I'm starting to miss him. No, no, no. Just because Fisk was better than Mr. Negative doesn't mean that he was good. Alright. Tired of you and your suspiciousness. Go to sleep. How many do we have left here?
Okay, one, two, three. Play with Just fire right there. Just need to take a few more. Then it'll be safe for you to move. Hurry. Very much played with fire there. But it didn't get burned. Those two over there are problematic. That guy's safe. But probably not for much longer. Get him, get him, get him. Ooh, okay. And then you. Okay, MJ, time to go. Copy that. Everyone, follow me! Oh, now we're just doing this. Okay. MJ, did you make it out? Yeah, everyone's safe. Good job. Hey, Peter. Yeah? John and there, we should talk. Yeah, we should. But first, find me and kick his ass. On it. bad for anyone who's on the wrong side of MJ. Wonder what side I'm on right now. I mean, I'm kind of perpetually on her shit list, aren't I? <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. Oh, there, buddy. Have a spider drone. Oh. Thought I'd win that. Okay. Okay, guys. Trivia time. Did you know Grand Central has the largest basement in New York City? Is that true? Crazy, right? You could fit half the Brooklyn Bridge down there. <clears throat> ha! I agree. You sure don't make them like they used to. That's old school New York gumption for you. Anyway, I could talk trivia all day, but I gotta stop your wingnut of a boss from destroying the city. Time to wrap this up. Gotcha! Oh man, that was a hardcore whiff. That technique is honestly not as good as I was hoping it would be. It doesn't work great. Like it doesn't do a ton of damage. Used to use the train. Can't let him get away. And you don't always hit anyway. Train platform is open. That must be where Lee is. Oh, okay. All right, where's this platform? I could beat these guys up all day. But I gotta go for the big guy. Quit it. I'm done with you. Ah, here we go. Police getting away. What up, Holmes? Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. Right, let's see how formidable he is physically. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed to shoot webs at him. Okay, cool. Doesn't seem all that tough, except he does a follow-up attack that I can't dodge. Got him. Why are you doing this? Paying off an old debt. He like siphons the energy out of people. So weird. Okay, that's not gonna work anymore. I better keep my distance for now. Jesus. Okay. Now I'm allowed to shoot webs, though, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Time to get close to finish this. All right. Can I do a finisher on him? I can't. Oh. Oh. Jump to the ceiling. He's getting tired. Fast before he recovers. 
Let me help you, Martin! Damn! <laughs> Oh. Okay. Stop doing what you're doing. This shit's actually kind of hard to dodge. Nothing can hurt me. Not anymore. I'd like to test that theory. Yeah, that looked like it hurt, just a wee bit. No breaks, no problem. Oh, it's time to Spider-Man 2 this shit. Uh, it totally worked last time. <laughs> Are they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month, why? <laughs> Next stop, prison. That was actually a really smart plan. He's very lucky that that place was still under construction. <laughs> uh, what would we have done if that wasn't the case? So, he said we're taking Mr. Negative to prison. It seems early in the story for that to happen, unless that's part of his plan. He didn't look super upset about the fact that he was being arrested, right there. Get that cargo back to the lab. Let's move! Do we super trust Sable with that? Shouldn't the cops be involved with that? Uh, I guess it was an Oscorp thing. This is Mary Jane Watson. Please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, hey, it's me. Let me know when you want to talk. Not ready to talk yet, okay. Texting isn't talking? What? Peter, no! No, 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 not that kind of over! Yeah, that was confusing. <laughs> I met Lee, I beat him. Oh. Please say no, please say no. Do you want it to be over? No. Huh. Okay, okay. But maybe it should be. And not okay. Need some time to figure some things <sighs> out. What is there to figure out? Sure, me too. I think we both had different ideas about this partner thing. You're so hung oh, up on that. You think? I need to do some work. I'll call you tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. Get fucked, MJ. It's over, Pete. It's over. Let it go. Oh, great. Just let it go, dude. That conversation was not good. Nothing good's gonna come out of that. You did it. Lee's off to the raft. The devil's breath is safe with Sable. How do you feel? How do I feel? How much time do you have? Not much. Heroes for you means paperwork for me. But I just wanted to say, good job. Thanks, Yuri. I kind of needed that. So... <sighs> All this time with Lee, I've been ignoring the city. Time to get back to being a friendly neighborhood Spidey. Explore the city to upgrade your gear. Okay. Honestly, I guess the only thing I really need to be worrying about right now is... Side quests and some challenge tokens, really? I don't know. So, multiple times throughout this game, they have popped up this graphic in the lower left corner that shows six supervillains. Which is 
clearly referencing the Sinister Six, right? And I don't know why it keeps showing up. They never say anything about it. I keep forgetting to mention it because they're always talking about other things when it pops up. So I'm kind of like, I don't know what the deal with that is. It's clearly going to be a thing though, right? Here's another call of a type I've been getting a lot lately. Speak! Mr. Jameson, I want to apologize. I used to think you were an alarmist. But look what's happened in the city. I'm afraid to walk the streets. As well you should. And I accept your apology. It's understandable you were bamboozled by the mainstream voices telling you everything was dandy. Nothing to worry about. Go out and consume. Don't ask questions. I was a lone voice in the wilderness then. But now, more and more people like you are realizing who spoke the truth. And that, my friends, is how we will take our city back. Yeah, sure. More fear-mongering from JJ. Guys, that was the most realistic text conversation I've ever seen. That conversation between Peter and MJ. And I'm really, like, I'm angry on behalf of Peter because, like, man, that's, that's so typical, right? Like, oh, the... The back and forth, the fidgeting, the the wishy-washiness. It's like, come on. You guys already dated and broke up, and, and now you're like, you're having these sorts of text conversations where like you're just not on the same page, you're talking about different things. She's always upset with us. I hate to say it, but I, I think that relationship's dead, Pete. You gotta let it go. You gots to let it go. 